What's going on guys? So today we're gonna to be solving the issue of getting traffic to your store but no sales. So this is essentially where you're getting hundreds of people that are coming onto your Shopify store but for whatever reason, they're not turning into customers, they're not buying your product. Have to say it's probably one of the most popular problems that people have but fortunately it's a relatively easy problem to diagnose and a relatively easy issue to fix as well. So my plan is in this video to take you through the sorts of things that you can do to help identify the problem, more importantly, Show you how to fix it and with any luck then you'll be able to turn things around and turn your business profitable turn your ads profitable so the starting point has to be one of two places you have to ask yourself these two things about the traffic that is going onto your store so number one is what is the quality of the traffic and number two how much traffic are you getting to your store? Starting with the latter then is how much traffic. If you've got 10 visitors to your store and you're complaining about not having any customers yet, you haven't had enough people to your store. My recommendation would be get to a minimum, get to a minimum of 500 people that have been to your store. And if you still haven't seen a single purchase, then at that point, something significantly is wrong. You need to pause your ads, find out what the problem is. Hopefully I'll show you in this video make some changes before you then go back to switching those ads on. The reason why you need to try and get a significant amount of people onto your store first is because then you've ran an adequate test. So a metaphor, an example to use would be if you were to go to an expo, if you're, in fact, if you're hiring a stand at an expo and you've got your stand somewhere in the NEC in Birmingham and you're trying to sell a product in whatever niche it is, the expo starts filling up, people start coming in, looking at different stands and one person comes over to your stand, sees the products you're selling and decides not to buy it. So at that point, you just assume nobody wants your product, you pack up your stand and you go home. Whereas if you'd stuck out through the day and let more and more people come over to your stand and see your product, you might have found out that the first person who came to your stand, i.e. your Shopify store, just for whatever reason, didn't wanna buy your product, which is totally normal, totally fine. But the next 50 people who came to your stand were interested in your product and did want to buy it. The more people you can get onto your Shopify store, the more accurate of a test it will be. And only at that point can you make an informed and accurate judgment of whether people are actually interested and want to buy your product or not. So this is why it's really important that you try and wait until you get to that point of about 500 visitors been and gone to your Shopify store. For those people who are running their business on a budget and they can't afford to test all the way up to 500 people, as a very minimum, I would say try and get to at least 100. A decent Shopify store running Facebook ads will convert somewhere in and around 3%. So after the first 100 people, an optimized, efficient, bigger average will get three orders for every 100 people. In the beginning, it might not be because we're gonna talk about quality of traffic in a second, but if you are running your business on a budget, get to that 100 people, and if you've seen zero orders at that point, then at that point, pause your ad, find out what the problem is, make some changes before you then go again. Going on to the second point then, which is the quality of the traffic. Both of these things are super important, by the way. So quality of traffic is the actual quality of the visitor coming onto your store. Using Facebook ads as an example, if these people coming onto your store aren't coming from a website conversion campaign, they're gonna be lower quality people. You're gonna be targeting people. So for instance, some people like to run traffic ads, traffic campaigns, because they'll get clicks, super cheap. But what you have to take into consideration, this is lower quality traffic. These are people who are less likely to buy your product, and therefore you're gonna get higher numbers of traffic with a lower conversion rate. And before you just assume people aren't converting and there's a problem, just make sure you are getting those minimum 100 visitors, preferably 500 visitors, that are coming from website conversion campaigns. Another reason why it's super important to wait until those bigger traffic numbers is because Facebook is a learning platform. It takes all the past information from past visitors, past people who have seen your ad, past people who have clicked your ad, how much of the ad they've watched. It takes into account all of these things, puts it into its algorithm, and then it comes out with who they think is your ideal customer. So in the beginning, i.e. when you have small amount of visitors, it won't have much past data to work on and therefore it will be showing your ad to random people who click it, end up on your website and might not make a purchase because Facebook doesn't know 
whether they're going to make a purchase or not. It won't know that until you've spent a little bit more and it's had time to learn who will and who won't buy your products from your Shopify store. So in the beginning, basically what I'm saying is that your Facebook ads won't be as optimized and therefore you can expect the traffic to be coming to your store to be a little bit less higher quality. So instead of coming to the conclusion there's a problem on your Shopify store, it may just be that Facebook is currently sending lower quality traffic to your website because it just needs a bit more time to optimize. Depending on where that traffic is coming from will depend on what the conversion rate is as well. So again, another big mistake I see, especially beginners, is because there's a lot of advice out there that tells people to target worldwide, to go into your Facebook ads manager, create a campaign, and in the ad sets, put America, put the UK, put France, put Germany, put Australia, put New Zealand, put all these countries in, and then send them to your Shopify store. In my opinion, that's not the right thing to do because I don't know about you guys, but if I go into a website and I see the price of the product is in dollars, I'm probably not gonna buy from it because I wanna source it from somewhere in the UK. If I go into a website and I see that the price of the product is in euros, I'm probably not gonna buy it because I'm looking to source it from somewhere in the UK. So if you have a business on Shopify that's selling in Great British Pounds and you're targeting America, you're targeting Canada, you're targeting France, Germany, all of these places that don't buy things in Great British Pounds, they're not gonna buy your product, they're not gonna convert, and therefore you're gonna have that issue of getting people onto your store and they're just not turning into customers. So as a beginner, my recommendation would be to stick to the local country in which you're selling. Sell to people in their local currency. You can be in the UK and sell anywhere in the world, just make sure that people can shop and pay in the local currency because that's how most people feel comfortable doing so. Now, if you're confident you pass both of these tests, so I suppose you could think of them like tests, like number one, have you had over 100 visitors as a very, very, very minimum, preferably 200, if not 500, if that's a yes. And number two, is it high quality traffic? So is that coming from campaigns that have had significant ad spend in your ads manager? Is it sending traffic from the country that matches the current currency in which you're selling in. Also, what you need to check is the CTR. So the link CTR results of your Facebook ads. The reason why this is really important is because the CTR is an indicator of how interested your audience is in your ad. So Facebook can be a bit of a sod sometimes in that it won't necessarily always give you the best traffic. It will just give you the cheapest traffic so that the data looks good and you continue to spend money on it. But what you need to do is you need to go into your breakdowns, you need to look at the placements, you need to look at the platforms, you need to look at the age ranges, you need to look at the genders, which I think I've already mentioned, and then you need to see which one has the highest CTR, i.e. the segments which have the highest interest in your ad, and that's where you need to focus your money on as well, because it might just be a case that Facebook is spending all of your money on 18 to 25 year olds because it's super cheap, but they might not wanna buy your product if your product is aimed at somebody who is supposed to be a grandparent. So what you can actually do at this point is edit your ads, focus all of your ad spend onto 50 plus if you haven't done so already, and in turn, and this is gonna increase the quality of your traffic, which should in turn increase the conversion rate of your Shopify store. So after all of that, if you're still confident you've got high quality traffic and you've had a significant amount of it and it's still not converting, then your issue is on your Shopify store, 100%. If your Facebook ads or your marketing campaigns, whatever platform it is, is getting significant traffic and high quality traffic at that onto your store and it's still not converting, the problem is on your store. The problem is probably on that very first page that loads up and the customer sees. Think of that first page as like a first impression for your customer. If they don't like what they see in those first few seconds, those first sort of five seconds or not, they're gonna have a bad impression and they're just gonna leave straight away. Now this video would be too long to go over every single potential issue that might be on your store. Perhaps I could cover that in a different video, but some main culprits then. Are, number one is the overall feel and branding of your store. Is it all mismatch? Have you got dodgy fonts that are hard to read? Is it really small fonts? Are you using poor quality pixelated images that feature Chinese branding or Chinese um, text 
or have you just imported images from AliExpress or wherever it may be and it's broken English? Are you using dodgy colors like you have a black background and red text? Now, there are some occasions where that might be called upon and that might work really well. But for most people, stick to a white background with black text. Is there no social proof behind the product? People like to know they're buying from businesses which are established and trustworthy. And to do this, you have gotta make sure you include all the relevant contact information and so on and so forth. So there really is a lot of things in which it could be like I said this video is too long to do this perhaps I could do another video on it if that's the sort of thing you want to see make sure you let me know in the comment section below and so with that being said then guys that is the traffic but no sales problem solved I really hope this video helps you out I really hope you've stayed with me this long if you have please do make sure you subscribe to see more videos please make sure you drop a like as well it helps the channel out helps me grow this and help more people if this video does help you out make sure you come back and let me know I'd love to hear from people and how my videos have helped them if you're looking for a UK community to share thoughts ask questions and get answers from experienced dropshippers like myself then make sure you check out my free Shopify UK group on Facebook the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.